What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an update to Twinmotion that makes importing Sketchfab models into your renders even better. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, and so specifically in this video, I wanted to talk about a difference that got added in the 2023.2 preview edition. So note, this is kind of like the beta version that's out there in preview, um, as opposed to the last stable release, which is 2023.1.2. And so what they've done is they've changed the way that you can bring in Sketchfab models in a way that seems minor, but is actually pr a pretty big deal for how you can use Sketchfab. And so first off, I'm going to open the 2023.1.2 version. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this very first model in the Sketchfab section. So if I go into Cars and Vehicles, right, and I drag this Porsche in here, we go ahead and bring this scale down to like point, uh, 0 0.05, I think. So we'll do this right here. And so if we open this car model up in Sketchfab, what you're gonna notice, right, is that this car is supposed to be green. It's not supposed to be gray. But when we actually bring it in to Twin Motion for whatever reason, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and close this out, notice how it's gray. And so when you actually bring this in, the reason for that is because there's an extra coat or layer on this car. And you can kind of see it when you like fly in here just a little bit, just a tad, right? It's like a damage layer in here, but you can see how there's like an additional geometric layer in here um, that's affecting the way that the car works. Now it's not a massive deal because you could come in here and just adjust the color and the uh, settings of this gray material, right? Like this, but um, you don't necessarily want to do that. What you need to be able to do, and this is just kind of an example, is sometimes you need to be able to edit the individual parts and pieces of a Sketchfab model for whatever reason. Maybe you need to take away a piece or something like that. Well, notice how in the 2023.1.2 version, you can't do that. This just gets like reduced into a singular model, right? So I can't click I can't touch the tires. I can't do anything. It's just a model that's brought in, um, which for visualization purposes is fine, but a lot of the time you need to make tweaks or other things like that. And so let's jump over to the 2023.2 community version. So see how I'm now in that new version? Well, now if I bring this portion, it's the same model, right? If I bring this into Twin Motion, notice how now it looks the same, right? At least like initially it looks exactly the same. But if you look at the model, over here, notice how you can now get to those individual parts and pieces, right? So what that means is that means that I can come in here and I can make adjustments to like the license plate if I want to do that. I can get in here and I can adjust the individual light pieces. I can adjust the tires, right? So if I wanted to rotate this tire and you'd want to make sure that you get the wheel piece as well, but you can come in here and you can make those adjustments now and see those individual parts and pieces. The other thing you can do, which is a big deal, is notice how this piece of the car is kind of over top of the green right here. And I'm sure there's a reason for that for some program or something like that. We don't need it. So what we can do is we can come in here and we can just delete that out. Now what you can do is you can just sample this vehicular material right here and you can adjust the roughness and now all of a sudden this car looks the way that it's supposed to look, right? We can do the same thing with the glass. So we can take that glass material, go into our materials section, find it, and we can replace it, right? So I can go down here and I can pick, we'll go with the clear glass right here. We'll drag it over top of that. And so notice how now that means that I can come in here and I can actually make changes and adjustments to the geometry. And I can also pick the overall object if I just want to move it around like this. So it seems like a small ad, but being able to actually access the nested parts of the Sketchfab models if you want them is actually a big deal for a lot of different reasons. All right, so highly recommend that you go in and try this new community preview version, not just for this feature, but also because it added that Lumen support, um, which gives you that real-time global illumination. Now, if you do want to learn more about how to use Twin Motion, make sure you check out my detailed Twin Motion course. It's been updated for version 2023. It's going to teach you exactly how to use the program. I'll link to that on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.